Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Amen. I tell you what, it's profitable to die for a child of God. It's profitable. It's profitable out there to not. It's profitable you child of God that's laying and suffering right now. But right now, it's more needful for you to be in this body. It's more needful for you to be in the body right now. But I'm going to tell you something other. I wrote this down here. The Greek word is a windfall. It's a bonus. We think of death as a loss, but the Bible term is a gain. It's a gain for a child of God to die. I ain't want to leave one more minute than I was supposed to. I'm going to stay here as long as I can. But I, there's times, honey, that I, I think it's far better for old Terry to go on. I, uh, but I tell you what, it's more needful right now. I, uh, but listen, I, uh, buddy, this man was hard-pressed. Uh, he desired uh, uh, to depart and be with the Lord, which was far better. I, he desired it. I, uh, but he said uh, uh, it was more needful at this time. I, he said, I'll be a winner. I, he accepted. I, amen. The suffering. I, amen man that would come his way. He accepted uh, the beatings. Uh, he accepted the stonings. Uh, he accepted it. Uh, amen. That he might uh, win the excellence of Christ uh, in his body. Uh, amen. I, I, I tell you what tonight, uh, friend, uh, death's coming. Uh, it's coming to you uh, and it's coming to me. Uh, but my friend, uh, be you ready. Uh, amen. Uh, because you'll get a call one day. Uh, amen. Uh, it'll come by uh, and it's, it's time it's time for you to go amen I tell you what one of the saddest things that I ever heard amen happened back last week in Florida amen a man in his own bedroom a man in his own business no doubt amen in his bedroom falls into a sinkhole and they never found his body that man left out if you'd ask him amen you think uh, you're going to die today he was just 30 some years old uh, he would have said no I don't look for it uh, amen uh, but I tell you uh, death uh, amen when it comes it don't matter how old you are or how young you are but amen uh, you need to be ready uh, amen uh, for that day uh, when it comes uh, be you ready uh, amen in an hour as you think not behold the son of God come uh, amen uh, he's the only one uh, amen that can just Amen. Why? Because he'll judge justly. Why? Because he's the son of man. Amen. Because he knows what it is to go through this life. He knows what it is to be tempted in all points like we are, but yet without sin. He sees us in our heartaches. He sees us in our problems. He sees us in our sorrows, in our pain, in our infirmity. He failed every one of them and more. I, I, why I was here on this earth I, but I tell you what I, he's touched I, I, by them I, he feels them I, amen to the uttermost I, amen that's the reason right now I, if you go to that phone I, and you call I, and want somebody to pray for you I, there'll be somebody on that line I, I will say yes I, I, what your need I, I, what do you need I, I, we'll pray with you we'll pray over that request we'll write it down we'll pray on it we'll take it with us we'll pray with it, uh, pray over it. Uh, uh, friends, tonight, uh, uh, what do you need? I tell you what, you'll have to choose what you need tonight. If you need prayer, we're here. If you need saving, God's willing to listen. But you've got to be a willing. It's coming. Judgment's coming. Death's coming. But my friends, be you ready. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you something, one other thing. And I'm going to close this message out as they ease up here and they get, a, get ready to take us off the air. We want to just read you one thing. Last book in the Bible, Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. John said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Now John saw the holy city in New Jerusalem come down from God but out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 
And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. He wants to tabernacle. He, may, he wants to come. He wants to sup with you. But listen. Listen what he said about this thing called death. Amen. He says right here, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All physical firmities in this body that you're having right now, having all that pain, having all those emotional problems, sorrow, pain, amen, crying, my friend, but death itself, amen, there's not going to be any more. There's not going to be no more headaches. There ain't going to be no more uh, uh, heart attacks. Uh, there's coming a time, my friend, uh, uh, when uh, uh, God uh, uh, brings down, uh, amen, that uh, bright city uh, uh, that's prepared, uh, uh, that some estimations is uh, uh, between 1,200 uh, miles square up to 1,500 miles square and high. Amen. Uh, uh, the, my friend, uh, Jesus said in John chapter 14 uh, and verse 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, he said, you believe Believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house is many mansions. He said, I, he said, I'm the one. I'll go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again 